and welcome back. Sydney's in the middle of having some lunch. Are you sitting with me? Yeah, I'll sit with you. Okay. I'll sit with you in the other chair. She wants me to, to sit in that chair. Today we are doing like a cleaning, Halloween crafts and things with Sydney. I just wanted to kind of get into the spirit since Halloween is obviously this weekend. I, I'm feeling like I've lost the Halloween spirit um, and, and it's upon us. Um, so I just need to get into it and I wanted to do some maybe crafts with Sydney, like Halloween crafts. Sydney wants to maybe to sit with her. Um, anyway, yeah, I've kind of lost track of my house situation. It can happen so fast. It just happens so fast. Um, but yeah, that's what we are doing today. Watch mama walk. Okay, what? I love you. I just did some dishes, now I'm having a snack. Um, I'm having these multi-grain tortilla chips that I got from Aldi, these are really good. Um, and also, I've had a bunch of people ask me my thoughts and feelings about the food. Um, and like what I liked and you know, pass hit or miss, and I will let you know. But anyway, these are hit for sure. And I am dipping them in this caramelized onion dip from Trader Joe's, you guys. This is so amazing if you're having any get together any sort of reason to have a dip i highly recommend this it's definitely the flavor of caramelized onions so you have to like that it is so stinking good and i could just sit here and like eat this whole bag anyway i wanted to prop you up because i want to tell you about the dream that i had last night i've never i don't think i've ever had a dream at least not that i remember um like this before but last night i had this wild dream and it was so my grandfather um as you may know i don't know he passed away a, a little over a year ago so my grandfather was ill in my dream like he was you know normal and then he ended up passing away and the same day that he passed away we were or a couple of days later we were at my mom's house with my family and um it, this is all in my dream and then all of a sudden my grampy walks in and we were all very confused and it was my grampy but he had this glowing aura like light around him he was like glowing like a light and he was walking around and he was still in his like ill not well state but then progressively started healing and getting better i could cry just thinking about my dream or explaining it and then he progressively started getting better and then he was himself when he was healthy and like how I remember him as he was healthy and a little bit younger but he still had this glowing aura around him and he sat in the chair in my mother's living room and he reached out his hand to me and I grabbed his hand oh this is crazy um because it just felt so real um he reached out his hand and I I grabbed his hand and I felt his hand and then all of a sudden this cool like chill came over me it was like a like a cool breeze or something like that but I physically felt like I was holding his hand and then my mom was there my uncle was there and we were all like is this is this really happening this is this feels so real and then when I woke up it felt real and I was like it feels like he visited me last night while I was sleeping it felt so real but anyway have any of you guys ever you know, had a dream like that before. I'm not one to, I don't know. I don't want to believe that spirits can visit you because it freaks me out. <laughs> but that dream last night was the first time I've ever felt like maybe I did get a visit from a loved one because it felt so real. I don't know. I'm not one to get like spiritual on here or anything like that. But I just had to tell you about my dream because it was, it just was crazy how real it felt. Anyway. I just thought I would share that random, random thing. Cause when I woke up, I didn't even wake up on my own. Sydney woke up and had to go pee. And she's like, mom, I have to go potty. And I like sprang awake and I was like, whoa, that felt real. Anywho, I'm gonna continue to eat my snack. Sydney's like, what's happening? <laughs> is it good? This is so good. Just dip it. Just give me a second. Just <laughs> give me a one second. Oops. Um. 
Okay. So I'm setting up a little act. <laughs> Hang on. Candy? Yes, I'm going to eat that candy. <laughs> because it's yummy. <laughs> Mama's setting up a little activity here. Oh, the exposure is too far up. Because I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to do some arts and crafts with this candy corn, okay? You're going to pull candy on you, and I'm going to eat a wall candy. Oh my goodness. So you are gonna see all these like little paper squares and rectangles. You're gonna glue them on the candy corn, okay? So I'm gonna give you a real candy corn so you can see how the colors go, so you know where to put the paper, okay? You see there's three sections here. Let me get you a candy corn. And give me a wall candy too. So see this candy corn, you can take it, okay? Don't eat it yet. Look at it. How many colors are on the candy corn? What do you see for colors? Yellow, white, orange. Good job. So, put the candy corn down here. See, Mama drew a candy corn. So if we're gonna do the candy corn the same colors as this, so this one will be white, and then what's in the middle of the candy corn? What color's in the middle? What color's in the middle of the candy corn? Um, yeah, what color's that? Orange. Yeah, so all the orange rectangles will go here, and then what's at the bottom? What color's on the bottom of the candy corn? Yellow. Yellow, and all the yellow will go here. Okay, can you start doing that? Okay, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, you can eat it. Here, <laughs> but you need one for reference, okay? okay? So that way you know. Now start gluing all the squares. You think that candy corn's to eat? I'm just kidding, it is. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding, honey. What's she gonna put there? It's supposed to be white, you silly. And he's saying she's all done with the candy corn arts and crafts. She did a good job. Good job, babe. And now, so I'm basically just going on Pinterest and looking for easy arts and crafts that we can do. Um, that way we can get a little bit into the spirit because I'm just thinking, I don't think it's lack of spirit for me. I think it's burnout. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I think it's burnout. Um, okay, so now we are gonna do some bats. Okay, so we'll put the glue stick away and now I'm gonna trace your hand on the construction paper, and we're gonna make bats out of them, okay?
And it's gonna be a bat. Over here more. Hang on, I can't handle that sound. Go ahead. And on top of that one. Ready, you wanna help me? Or keep that one down, because that has the glue on it, and now we're gonna put this on top of it, okay? Can you do that? Good job. Press it all down. Good job. And now we're gonna put the googly eyes on it. We might need the messy glue for the googly eyes. Can I get messy glue? Messy glue. Good job. Okay, all done. Now another dot of glue right here. Good job. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and now we'll put an eye on it. Pick what googly eye you want. One eye will go on this dot and one eye will go on the other dot. Okay, well, you gotta let the eyes dry a little bit, but it's like a little bat. That one was done and over with really fast. I ended up going online and finding some Halloween printouts. These are from abcdlearning.com. Love her. Um, and I just printed out this letter, like search. I don't remember what it is. Letter search, yep, Halloween themed. And then this Halloween beginning sounds. So I'm gonna help her with this one. Um, but we are gonna just do these. And then I think after this is unwinding time, she's needing a little bit of like down quiet time while I cook dinner. Okay, so you're gonna take a dot marker and then I'm gonna tell you which letter to find and when you find the letter, you gotta stamp it with your dot marker. Sound good? Pick a color, any color. What color do you wanna start with? We gotta lose the blanket though. What color you want to do? Purple? Well, how about, can you please find the letter E? Find the letter E and put a purple dot marker stamp on it. E. Good job, now put a stamp on it. Awesome. Okay, now find the letter S. S for, <gasps> good job. S for Sydney, cause S says good girl. Sydney a quick bath and the pink stripe is from the um, bath bomb by the way don't worry it's not just a yucky shower um anyway so Sydney is up in bed I let her finish watching the nightmare before Christmas it was like running in the background so she went to bed around 7 30 and now um, I'm gonna take my shower and I think I'm gonna self tan I was planning on doing that after momtober and having like a self-care day where I just like vegged in you know, sweatpants all day, but I think I'm gonna do it tonight. So I'm gonna take my shower, do my exfoliating thing, and then um, put on some self tanner and wash it off in the morning. And then maybe watch Hocus Pocus. <laughs> I still haven't watched the whole thing through. I probably won't be able to watch it until maybe like Halloween night or the day after Halloween actually, um, just depending on things. But yeah, let's, uh, self tanning routine I don't really have like a whole self tanning routine um, I'm just gonna exfoliate shave and then I use my loving tan um, I don't even know where my self tanner is now it's been a little while um, 
I will say though, this self tanner mitt is amazing. It's from Amazon. I'll link it down below. I think it was like $6. Um, it's such good quality. It's better quality than some of the expensive ones. I haven't tried super expensive, but some of the ones that are more expensive. So that one's really good. Do I even have self tanner anymore actually? Maybe I'm out, maybe I'm not. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> it's the Loving Tan um, self tanner. And then I use this mitt and I make sure I exfoliate with a sugar scrub, whatever is in my shower, sugar scrub, and then shave really well to moisturize my knees because I have very dry kneecaps. I use like the Argon Balm and then self tan. This right here, and I still only have the ultra dark. I still have not bought the regular dark, which is probably what I need, but I'm just gonna use this on my arms and legs and chest. I'm not gonna do my whole body or anything since it's all covered up for the cold season. 